Hello everybody. Now if you're here watching this video, you can tell it's a must watch. Save yourself from a permanent brick. Follow along on how to back up your Nintendo Switch's NAND. This is very important. Now this can be used to recover your Switch from a brick. Not in all cases, but most cases. Now when your Nintendo Switch is bricked, it will not turn on. You cannot access the software in any way. You can look on Google to find a definition of a device being bricked. I'm sure you'll find the answer very easily. Now, in regards to the Nintendo Switch, if you back up your NAND in RCM mode after you have launched the payload, if you have been following along, you should know exactly what you need to do to get into RCM mode. So what you would do is you would put your switch into RCM mode and you would send the payload. This will now leave you in the menu where normally you would, you would select to go into the actual software, CFW, whatever you want to call it, your homebrew. Now, this is done before that. Now, in the actual RCM mode and when you've accessed this menu after sending the payload, you are going to want to follow along on these steps. Now, they are very important, so I would encourage you to follow along. I'm going to zoom in real quickly. I'm going to try and give you guys a better view on this. Let's see if we can get this in frame kind of the way I want it here. The must watch would be important to have if possible. If not, that is okay. We're just about ready now. All right, so as you can see here, I am now in the menu you need to be in. Instead of picking launch firmware and going to CFW as you normally would, you're going to go down one time. You go up and down using your volume buttons. Volume down goes down. Volume up goes up. I'll show you that real quick. Now to make a selection, I'm going to go back to the top. Start from the beginning. To make a selection, you're going to want to go down to Tools, and then you're going to want to select that. Once you're in Tools, you have a few options. You can dump your raw NAND. You can dump your system NAND. Um, you can dump your user data and your boot data. Um, I would advise, and I will be doing for myself, it's up to you. Some people are advising to do just the system. I'm doing the complete raw NAND. I want everything I can get from the switch. I will be myself doing a system NAND or a system backup separately of this. But for now and for this video, I'm going to go down once and I'm going to gonna now pick raw NAND. Now, once you select this, it should proceed into backing up the NAND. This is going to take a while, but once it is done, then you will be a little more safe. You will feel a little more safe in the things you're doing. Um, overall, I'd recommend doing this. It is very important. Now I'm going to initiate, and now it's going to begin. I'm going to let it go for a second before I pause the video, but as you can see, we're still at 0%. Now, by doing this, I would advise to make sure you have an SD, a micro SD card that is at least 64 gigabytes. Now, from what I have heard and what I have read and the research I have done, you will want at least most are saying 32 gigabytes of free space on that micro SD card. Now I'm recommending at least 35 gigabytes just in case, but overall 
And for myself, I have over 130 gigabytes of free space on my micro SD card right now for this. And as you can see, we are still at 0%. I'm hoping for that loading bar to move just a little bit before I pause the video. At least 1% to give us a positive indication that things are taking place the way they're supposed to. Now, we're gonna be patient. Let's hope that 1% hits a little quicker than it has been. If it hasn't, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna unpause it part way through, and then I'm gonna try and um, pause the video one more time, and then unpause it just before the end of the backup. There we go, 1%. So as you can see, just that 1% took a little while. You have to be patient with this. Now I advise to use at least a 64 gigabyte micro SD card, at least have roughly 35 gigabytes of free space, if not a full 64 gigabytes of free space on that micro SD card to make sure this finishes and there's enough space. Um, and also, Make sure you have charged your Nintendo Switch. I'm going to repeat that. Make sure you have a really good charge on your Nintendo Switch. This way, it will not die before this finishes. As you can tell, it is going to take a little while. You are not running Breath of the Wild, so it shouldn't be eating up too much of the battery. But it will take a little bit of time. Now, also, after doing this, I would say... Run your Nintendo Switch for a little bit in regular mode or CFW um, just to run the screen and let the pixels change and everything because as you can see it's a black screen with the white pixels and the white bar. You want to clear that all up as much as possible. Um, I haven't seen no screen burn in for myself. Again, this is all at your own risk. Everything you do with your Nintendo Switch that is not advised by say Nintendo, you are taking a risk. And that is at your own discretion and you remember that. I do my best to give the best tutorial and guidance to people in what to do. I do my best not to make any mistakes myself. And this is something I advise that most people should do. And if you have the chance, spread the word. Share this on social media, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you can. Send a text message to your friend if they're in the process of doing these things with homebrew and CFW and um, running emulators and all that good stuff. Let them know that they should be taking the time to stop playing games and back up their NAN. It is very important. So spread the word. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to pause the video. We're going to be back in a little bit and I'll talk to you then. Now I'm back everybody. As you can see the NAND backup process has finished. Now I will be turning off my Nintendo Switch, taking out the micro SD card and inserting it into my computer so I can back up the NAND files onto my computer separate of my micro SD card. And I will also show you what the files will look like because there's a difference from what I've heard between an SD card that's backed up with your NAND that's XFAT and EXFAT and one that is FAT32. So we'll be back in just a brief moment. Stay tuned and I'll show you that. So now that I have put my micro SD card into the computer which is on the left here, I have taken the raw NAND.bin file and I have copied, again that is copied, and then pasted the file onto my computer over here as a raw NAND at bin. Now you want to make sure you do that. Now if your SD card is smaller than mine, which mine was about a 200 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card, then you may have your raw NAND or if it's in X, um, FAT32, sorry, it may be backed up in portions like this. And then it can all be compiled together or something like that using a tool. Um, other than that, you will end up with a raw NAND file, which you will want to copy and paste onto your computer and then delete the original from your micro SD car card. All the best. Like, subscribe, share to everybody. This is very important. Take care.